The final pictures of Rolf Harris before his death show the disgraced star walking with a cane near his Berkshire home. Convicted pedophile and former Australian entertainer Rolf Harris has died at the age of 93, it has been confirmed today. Harris has not spoken in public since his release from prison in 2019, but some pictures emerged of him the following year. In the photos, the disgraced star could be seen using a cane as he emerged from a blue car while struggling to walk. At the time, he was wearing a red fleece and blue jeans with patches sewn on and looked noticeably disheveled. Since his release from Stafford Jail in 2019, reports previously indicated that Harris' health had declined rapidly. News of his death comes after reports last year claimed the former comedian was gravely sick with neck cancer and receiving around-the-clock care. Reports said the former musician couldn't eat anymore and only saw medical professionals at his Berkshire home. Only carers and nurses, who care for him 24 hours, come and go, his neighbour Portia Wooderson told News Corp Australia at the time. I'm told he can't eat anymore. Private investigator William Merritt, who wrote a book about Harris trials also told The Mirror. As far as his health goes, yes, he is very ill. But, Rolf keeps going. He's still around but he's not well at all. In 2014, Rolf was found guilty of 12 counts of indecent assault. One was overturned in 2017 and sentenced to five years in prison. The disgraced star, whose victims included two girls in their early teens and his daughter's friend, was released after three years in prison under license. His death comes just days before a documentary. Rolf Harris, hiding in plain sight, is scheduled to come out on ITVX. The show features interviews with Harris victims more than a decade after the TV host's arrest and trial. Harris first shot to fame as a teenager when he competed as a champion swimmer. His television career began in the 1950s, then he began releasing songs such as Tie Me Kangaroo Down, Sport, Jake the Peg and Two Little Boys. The former musician is also credited with the invention of the wobble board, and was known for playing rarely used instruments in popular music such as the didgeridoo and the stylophone.